What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and if you thought that yesterday was intense with everything that unfolded in Congress, well, wait till you hear what happened late last night as we're hearing the price tag and the fate of the stimulus bill could be changing. And this is your breaking news update, stimulus check update, and stimulus package update. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a second, I thought last night they were supposed to be voting on the infrastructure bill, not the stimulus bill. Well, you're right. But as you know, the fate of the infrastructure bill determines the fate of the stimulus bill, which determines the fate of the debt ceiling increase. Now, as you guys know, there were four pending urgent items on Congress's agenda. And yesterday I reported to you the breaking news that one of them got taken care of, and it was the passing of the continuing resolution to keep the government funded to avoid a government shutdown. So today, the government's still operating. However, there's still three major urgent items on the agenda. And yesterday, you guys, late last night, we were supposed to see a vote on that infrastructure bill, and I stayed up watching live reports, getting videos, so I could report it all to you this morning, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I've got video footage, I've got articles, I'm gonna give you the play-by-play -play and how everything changed last night. Now, we're gonna dive in, and I'm also gonna be sharing with you the way forward as we received a Dear Colleagues letter, a press release from Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi after all the events that took place. And you guys, you are not going to want to miss some of these updates because this has changed everything. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second. If you appreciate these updates that are keeping you up to date on everything that's changing pretty much by the moment, by the hour, you guys, just take a quick second to smash that like button. I would appreciate it. it helps out the channel a ton. Just lets the YouTube algorithm know that you think I'm doing a good job. And in turn, they're going to continue to promote my channel and my videos. Also, Leave your comments down below. Share this out if you think it's going to help out other people. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, come join the viewing community. Come join the RAM fam, we like to call it. All you got to do is smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay up to date. And I'll keep you up to date on Stimulus Congress, the economy, unemployment, infrastructure, anything going on with our money. And if you got any specific questions for me, because I know there's a lot going on, I'm very accessible. I'm easy to get a hold of. All you got to do is shoot me a DM on Instagram at steveram3. And yes, I go through all my own DMs. I get a lot of them, so give me a little time to respond, but I will go through and I'll do my best to get you answers to any questions that you have, you guys. And always use caution here on YouTube because I get a ton of comments and we get scammers that come in and they try to pose as me. They take my picture, they claim they're Steve Ram, and then they ask you to contact them on WhatsApp, contact their assistant, and then ask for you to donate them money or give out your personal information. You guys, that is not me. I don't have an assistant, I don't have a WhatsApp, I don't randomly ask you to give me money in the comments, okay? I'm just here to get you caught up on the latest. And with that being said, let's do that. Let's dive right into the news that came out late last night that has changed the fate of stimulus and infrastructure. So you'll recall that yesterday we had the breaking news as Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi came out and confirmed that there would be a vote on the infrastructure bill, despite the fact that it was not tied to stimulus. Now, this made moderate Democrats very happy as they had been waiting for quite some time to see that infrastructure bill voted on on the floor of the House. However, progressive Democrats were furious as they had said that Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi told them infrastructure would be tied to stimulus. The two were tandem and it would not be broken. And she did that. And progressives have said that Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi had betrayed them. And they unified in a revolt against Nancy Pelosi and President Joe Biden's Build Back Better agenda and said that if infrastructure was brought to the floor, that they would tank the vote. Now, don't think that Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi coming out and doing that, she didn't have a plan. Take a look, Democrats in a late night dash to salvage Biden's $3.5 trillion deal. And you guys, she was going to every single member of the House asking them, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Meetings were coming out on live feed. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi meets with Chuck Schumer, meets with Rashida Tlaib, meets with Ilhan Omar, meets with Joe Manchin, Kirsten Sinema, Josh Gothenheimer, meeting with everybody trying to see if she could tally up the votes before bringing it to the floor to see if it would go through. But take a look, you guys. Sanders says infrastructure bill must be defeated and calls an effort to cut a last minute deal absolutely absurd. Now, in addition to that, take a look, you guys. Biden in the West Wing receiving updates from his negotiating team, stopped everything he was doing, canceled all of his appointments to stay 
for Capitol Hill's negotiations. Now take a look. President Biden remains in the West Wing this evening, receiving updates from his negotiating team on Capitol Hill as they work to secure an outline on his sweeping domestic agenda. Aides say that Biden has been on the phone periodically with his teams, which include Brian Deese, Susan Rice, Louisa Terrell, and Steve Reschetti throughout the evening as developments proceed across town. Senior White House officials are also keeping tabs from offices at the White House. But take a look, you guys. Even though Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi furiously working away Way. And we're also having President Joe Biden keeping tabs. Progressives leader says that she wants members to list no votes quickly if the infrastructure vote occurs tonight. Now, there is a major reason why this happened. Maybe Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi could have persuaded them, but there was something that unfolded that changed everything. Take a look at this video footage. My top line has been 1.5 because I believe in my heart that what we can do and what the needs we have right now and what we can afford to do without ba basically changing our whole society to an entitlement mentality. I've never been. I've never been a liberal in any way, shape, or the form. I'm not asking them to change. I'm willing to come from zero to one five. Uh, from what year? <laughs> I mean, here's the thing is that uh, there's a lot of games being played with this number, let's be really clear about what the current status is with 3.5 trillion. That's $350 billion per year. So if this is really about the deficit, then maybe we go after our defense spending and find our savings there instead of going after people's child care. That's right, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as Senator Joe Manchin came out and confirmed that the highest that he would go on the $3.5 trillion stimulus bill to pass it through the process of reconciliation in the Senate was 1.5 trillion, slashing it in more than half. And you guys, he did this on the day of the infrastructure vote announcement. Like, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, which only infuriated progressives and unified them more so to vote no. So any hope that Nancy Pelosi had of trying to get them on board was dashed away when Joe Manchin did that. So you guys, uh, she tried to get them on board. She had a 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zoom meeting with the entire progressive caucus to see if she could do anything to get them on board. And you guys, we heard that it was too far gone. Take a look, even Manchin himself said Said, I don't see a deal tonight on the infrastructure bill. Take a look, you guys. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says that the Senate will reconvene Friday at noon. Today, you guys, they're going to be reconvening. As he said, it's not happening tonight. And then we saw this Dear Colleagues letter on the momentum toward the Building Back Better agenda. September 30th is released from Nancy Pelosi late last night and just says, Dear Democratic colleagues, the clock just struck nine in the evening of a very productive and crucial day. And I'll save you the rest. She's just pretty much saying that it's not getting done tonight and they're gonna keep working away. So you guys, this changes everything though. The amount of the stimulus has been sliced in half, we're hearing, to accommodate Senator Joe Manchin. Now you saw the response of progressives laughing <laughs> at that amount, saying that already 3.5 trillion is a compromise. Now we will see because uh, stimulus, it has to go through the process of reconciliation, which means all Democrats have to be on board pretty much and that might be the only way that we could avoid for the first time ever a United States default on the debt if we do not increase the debt ceiling. As Republicans said, they do not support it because they said Democrats are out of control with their spending and their stimulus. They said they're introducing permanent socialism for a temporary pandemic. And they're saying that we don't want to get the current generation accommodated to stimulus checks, to reoccurring tax credits and all these things. They're saying it's time to stop. But you guys also, Infrastructure, they want to push that through and Democrats, moderates are saying if there's no infrastructure, there's no stimulus. And progressives are saying if there's no stimulus, there's no infrastructure. So you guys, we've got to get this all taken care of and the United States might default, might officially run out of money. We're hearing from Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen on October 18th, the clock is ticking. We have 18 days to get this done. So you guys, that is the latest that unfolded late last night. And I'll be sure to keep you up to date as I'm sure there's gonna be a whole lot more information coming out today on infrastructure stimulus and the debt ceiling increase, you guys. And as always, thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick moment to smash that like button, helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Also, don't forget, if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, come join the viewing community, come join the Ram fam. I'll keep you up to date on all this stuff so you know what's going on. And if you got 
got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3, you guys. But with that being said, hope this reaches you well. I'll catch you in the next video, which is probably going to be coming out like in the next hour or so because of all the updates, you guys. Just turn on the notifications because uh, things are changing by the moment. But with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.